Hi, it's Tim Cashel here from Barco Media and Entertainment, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your FSN console and restore that backup and run it from the FSN GUI on your PC. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is on your FSN console, you're going to want to do a save all, a final save all, before you do a backup. That's going to save all the information up to this point on the switcher. So then close the confirmation window. Then you're going to take a USB stick and you're going to insert it into the USB slot on the top of the FSN. Okay. Now, from the system page of the FSN, you're going to go to Backup Restore. And you're going to back up the system. Now, this is going to show you the directory of your thumb drive. Um, we're going to go ahead and just click on the file called Backup. Now, you could have also created a new folder and named that folder as well. But I've already got a folder called Backup. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and do a Backup Restore. Now, the folder already contains data. Do you wish to overwrite? Yes, I do. Okay. So now, the backup's in progress. Now, depending on how many presets you have on the uh, FSN will determine how long it takes. And since we don't have very many, the backup is now finished. So go ahead and close that. And we can go ahead and back out of this menu. And we can remove the USB stick. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to walk that USB stick over to your PC and insert it into the PC. Now, what you need to do first is you need to locate those files. So we're going to go into our Explorer here and we're going to locate our thumb drive and then look at the folders. Now, we got a folder in there called, conveniently enough, Backup. So we're going to open up the Backup folder. There is a library folder in there. I'll double click on that. And then it's going to show you the uh, the tar file that can be extracted. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on that one more time. And that's going to show me all of the files that were backed up from my FSN. Okay? So these are the files I need to get into the FSN GUI on my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and do a control A. And that is going to highlight all those files. And I'm going to do an extract. Now, a little browser window pops up that asks you where do you want to extract the files to. Now, when I installed the FSN GUI software, uh, the folder that contains the program, I put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. Okay, You may put it in program files or in C drive or some other location on your computer. So you're going to need to know that location first uh, before you can extract the files. So in my case, go to the browser window here, uh, desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down till I find the folder for that software. Now here it is, FSN GUI Rev 80108. Go ahead and expand that folder. I have two folders, one for the Mac version, one for the Windows version. So again I'm going to expand the Windows version. And there's a folder called FSN Data. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that folder and I'm going to uh, click OK. So that is where these files that have highlighted are going to be extracted to is that FSN Data folder. Go ahead and click OK. Now, in my case, Windows is telling me that I'm going to be overwriting a bunch of files. And in this case, that's OK. Because I asked what I want, that's what I want to do, is to have my FSN GUI be a uh, restored backup from my main console. So I'm going to overwrite everything by clicking Yes to All. All right, so those files are overwritten. And I can close this window, close this window. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on my FSN full GUI icon and run the program. And it's attempting connection. Now, you can see here that we're connected. And it should be exactly like the console. So, let's check. If we go to input setup, we've got uh, two SDI sources and three VGA sources. And let's confirm that over here on our GUI. If we go back to the system page, and go to our input setup. We've got the same thing. We've got two SDI sources and three VGA sources. Okay, so let's confirm on the memory side of it. If we go to the memory page, uh, we have three memories that were uh, saved on that FSN. And let's confirm that on the GUI. So if I go to my memory page here, there are indeed uh, three registers saved. So it looks like the, the backup made it. Now I can actually run um, this as a backup to the console 
or as a secondary controller uh, in the normal fashion and I have a, a secondary online controller. So that's how you uh, back up and restore your controller settings onto the FSN GUI. Uh, the next video will be uh, how to do that on the Mac.